A mosquito-borne disease that can be deadly to horses and humans has state health officials on alert. TV20's Crispin Lopez shows us the best way to protect yourself and your animals from eastern equine encephalitis. 28-year-old Kaylee Pratt works at Cheney Walk Farm in southwest Alachua County. As farm manager, she cares for seven show horses, but recently she's had to protect them from pests that can cause serious problems, mosquitoes. All day they've been out this year, and normally it's just morning and night, but they seem bigger and feistier this year. One of the methods here used to protect against mosquitoes is this fly control system you see going off that protects horses like Shane here. Outside of the barn, Pratt also uses fly and mosquito repellent on the horses, precautions that state health officials say are crucial because July is the peak time for the transmission of a deadly disease, eastern equine encephalitis. The mosquito-borne viral disease affects horses, humans, and some birds. Its high mortality rate makes it one of the deadliest mosquito-borne diseases in the U.S. We see a lot of horse deaths, usually earlier in the year than some of the, uh, some of the other diseases that mosquitoes transmit. Between June 21st and 27th, there were nine positive tests in horses from six different counties, including Bradford, Columbia, and Putnam. Them. Officials say that standing water should be dumped out because mosquito larvae like this can develop into adults in a matter of days and then carry the disease to horses and humans. Back at the farm, Pratt makes sure that all the horses receive the best form of disease prevention. The most important part is the vaccinations twice a year. It protects against encephalitis in West Nile. Crispin Lopez, TV20 News. According to the state health department, eastern equine encephalitis activity has been reported in 26 counties. Six counties are also under mosquito-borne illness advisories. There's no human vaccine for the disease.